Okay, so welcome back to part five. So we last left off, we were try we're going to finish off the footer along the bottom. So if we just zoom in, and as you remember, we added this one pixel border on the bottom of our main content wrapper. So the next thing we need to do is we need to grab a portion of this little gradient on the bottom. So what we need to do for this, if we grab the selection tool, this one up in the top left hand corner, zoom in a little bit. And what we need to do if we grab a portion like that, and as you can see it's selected that area. If you now do edit, copy merged, and then file new, and click OK, and then edit, paste. If you now zoom in, you can now see we've got the, the image that we need. So if we now do file, save the web and devices, click on save and we will call this footer BG click on save and we can now get rid of this okay so now we have the image we need to go to the visual web developer and we need to create the markup for the footer so if we create div id equals footer wrapper close that off as usual, add the closing comment, so we'll call this footer wrapper, so we need to style the wrapper now, so if we copy that, go back to our style sheet, add it into here, so the width is going to be 1000 pixels, the height We'll give it 100 for now, we'll, we can change that later. And to save a bit of time, I'll copy this code from here. So the background image, we want to use the image we just created, which will be on our images in our structure folder. So it will be called, well I called mine footer BG. And we want to repeat it along the X axis, it's the same as the other ones. So if we now go back to the master page, Go to design view. In fact, I've just noticed the mistake, the width, we actually want it to be 100%, not 100 pixels. We want it to stretch across the whole of the page. So if we save that, go to our master page. And as you can see, it's added it in. It does look a bit weird there, but if we preview this in a browser, and as you can see, that's got a nice little drop shadow on the footer. So what we need to do, we need to obviously fill in the rest of the footer with the same colour. So if we come out of the browser, stop debugging. Okay, so if we go to our markup, so inside the footer wrapper, we want to create footer ID equals Footer content. So we create a comment on the end. So we now want to style the footer content. So footer content. This is going to be width. 1000 pixels, the height 100 pixels, and then we want to do a background colour. But we need to grab that now from our Photoshop document. So if we go back over here, just deselect that, grab our eyedropper tool, click on the grey area. And as you can see, this is the colour we need. So if we copy that, go back to Visual Web Developer, we put the colour in, close that off, go back to our master page. In fact, we need to give it the margin. So margin, zero auto, zero auto. So that centres it in the page. Go back to our master page, click on design, 
And as you can see, we've now got that. Obviously, we need to sort out this uh, white here. So if we just preview this first of all. Okay, as you can see here, I've actually made a mistake. I've, as you can see here, this solid color overlaps the, the image. So it's easy to fix that. If we close out the browser, click on stop debugging, go back to our style sheet and actually remove the background color from the footer content and put it on the footer wrapper where our image is. Save that, go back to our master page, preview in a browser. And as you can see now, it's actually, it actually looks like it's sitting underneath with the nice highlight with the nice shadow on the top. Okay, as you can see now, the, the foot is taking shape, but we do have this white space um, below it just here. Now, my resolution is a certain resolution, so you may have less or you may have more. Um, the way we can, we can get around this is if we tell the main content wrapper to be white, and we tell the main background of the whole page to be this grey colour and then this will disappear. So if we close out of this, click on stop debugging. Okay, so the way to fix this, all we need to do is if we put this bit of code here, so the background colour of the footer, which is this colour here. If we put this bit of code on the body, like so, save that. And if we come down to the main content wrapper, paste the same bit of code but change the colour. So it would be white. Save that. If we now preview this in a browser. You can now see the white has gone along the bottom and everything is starting to take shape. We just go back to our Photoshop document, zoom out. And as you can see, we've got a similar sort of effect here. If I can pull that to the side. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the, the header with the line in between, product layout, a tiny business solution and then with the navigation. I haven't done this bit just yet, we'll come back to that. Then we've got the billboard area, we've got the two lines, as you can see, obviously the content we'll come back to. And we can adjust the sizes of the, the different areas later, as you can see, the, this one's smaller than this, and we can readjust them as we need to go. Um, obviously the main area is gonna to need to be bigger. Um, we've got a similar, we've got the gradients in our white area. And then as you come down to the footer, you've got the little shadow there, and then you've got the footer. So it's starting, starting to take shape. So if I just go back to Visual Web Developer, stop debugging. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video now, and I'll be releasing the next video shortly. Thank you.